Welcome back. I'm Mark Summers getting the inside story on the gadgets that go with our food. A gizmo that's made Thanksgiving dinner a whole lot easier. It's the pop-up timer. The simple device has been around for years, but does anybody really understand how it works? Let's go inside the world's largest pop-up timer factory, and we'll find out together. Take a look. Crispy on the outside, moist and tender on the inside. Preparing the perfect turkey can be tricky, but one little gadget has made this meaty meal almost foolproof. It's very simple. When the stem pops up, it's done. Volk Enterprises helped innovate the pop-up timer. At their Turlock, California plant, they make more than 100 million pop-up timers every year. I think when people actually see how it's actually done, they're amazed. The timer is actually an incredibly simple invention. Pop-up timer really consists of four different basic parts. We have a barrel, a stem, which is the center part that actually pops up. We have a spring inside, and then in the bottom we have a firing mechanism. Making the gadget begins with molding the plastic parts. Nylon pellets are the main ingredient. The beads are dumped into a hopper melted at 557 degrees, then pressed into the barrel shape. These tubes will become the outer case of the timer. This is make up to 200, uh, 200 parts per shot. All those parts add up to over a million pounds of nylon a year. We actually are one of the biggest users of nylon other than the, the automotive industry. On another machine, the stem or plunger is formed. It will put the red pop in the timer. So a cupful of red beads is added to the usual white to give it its bright color. These beads are also melted and formed on a high pressure molding machine. Next, the freshly minted timer parts are put together. First, the barrels and plungers are lined up. Then, too fast for the human eye to see, the firing mechanism and a spring are inserted inside the barrel. The plunger goes in last. The timers are set by heating the firing mechanism inside. The plungers are then pushed down and quickly cooled off, locking them in place. The firing mechanism is key to this technology. It tells the timer when to pop. And what's special about the materials that we use as firing mechanisms is they are preset to react at certain temperatures. So we know that a certain firing mechanism will liquefy when it reaches a specific temperature. When the material in the bottom of the timer reaches 180 degrees, proper turkey temperature, it releases the plunger telling you your dinner is done. All of the materials that we use to manufacture the timers are accurate to within plus or minus two degrees Fahrenheit. To test the accuracy of their timers, Volt pops thousands of them each day in tubs of hot water. We can't put hundreds of timers, of course, in the turkey. Every, so what we do is we put it in a water bath to bring them up slowly, as an oven would bring your turkey up slowly. Still nothing is better than the real thing. Each day, up to nine turkeys are roasted to test the timers. Each one is wired up like a science project. We'll hook these up to a computer, and then the computer will take a sampling of temperature every minute throughout the cooking process at each of these wired locations. Besides being fun to watch, the pop-up timers are an important advancement in food safety, ensuring you won't carve into undercooked meat. One of the things that we've combated through the years is the, is the notion that the pop-up timer is kind of gimmicky. It's a sales tool, that it's not a real instrument of measure. And I think people are fascinated and oftentimes surprised to find out how uh, accurate and precise these timers actually are.